What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're taking the bumper off of the Z06. We're doing that because I'm going to offer you guys these spoilers for sale. That's right. I'm going to start selling C8 parts. Starting off with the rear spoiler, we're going to get this bumper off. I'm sending in the spoiler and the winglets. I'm going to offer two stages for the wing. Stage one is going to be just this winglet in carbon fiber. And then stage two will be the entire spoiler with the winglet all in carbon. I don't know pricing as of right this second. We got to get these things off. We got to get them shipped out. We got to get molds done. The first shipment's probably going to be about three or four wings. So if you guys are interested in getting the spoiler and the winglet, it's in carbon, message me at rearwheeldriveC8 at gmail. When the first couple shipments come in, you guys will be the first ones. It'll probably be an introductory price, probably a lot lower than what I'll actually sell them at. All right, so we got the rear wheels off. We've had the C8 rear bumper off before. I haven't done the Z06 yet, but I gotta think it's probably something similar. So I remember last time we had to pull these mud flaps off, pull the inner liner out, and there was three screws right up in here that we had to get to. But first, we're gonna start at the top. I believe there's about 16 screws. You guys are probably rocking T15s here. I've got Phillips screws with buttons in them because I'm rocking the C8 rally driver front cover. I might need to take out two T15s. There's one here in this corner, and then one more here over in this corner. Let's see what we gotta do. I see two T15s here and here for the mud flap. Might be one underneath. There is, but it's not a T15. Maybe a seven mil. All right. That should be all that's holding this mud flap on. Yep, got the three tabs on the side and three spots for the screws. All we need to do is expose this area right here. We don't need to pull the entire thing out. So we need to take out this T15, probably that tab, maybe that T15. All right, we got everything we think we need. Is there anything inside here? Let's see if that is enough to pull this thing back. Grab this. Yep. Now looking up in here, you got one, two, looks like seven mils, and then we got like a 10 mil bolt back there or not. This is the easy one to get to, so I'll probably show this on camera. The other two. I'm probably just gonna do it by feel, because they're way up in there. Off camera, I went and matched up the passenger side to the driver's side. So on the C8 Corvette, this canister used to be way up in there, which made getting that 10 mil extremely hard. Now, because of the wide body, it looks like they lowered this down, and you can get to that pretty much easier than you get to the other side. Because on the driver's side, you've got this big tube here, so when I used that 10 mil, it kept hitting this, so I only had very limited range here, whereas the passenger side, we had all the range. So we removed screws from the top, the sides, now we gotta go to the bottom. You don't need to take all these panels off just to get the bumper off. You only need to take off one, two screws on the passenger side. And you guessed it, they're T15s. See that? She's loose. On the driver's side, repeat. All right, so minus the connectors for the lights and the backup sensors, I think we're good to go. The plan is to lift this up, put them right on those boxes over there with all the towels. Let's see how this goes. We're gonna lift up. Yep, that worked. Got some spacers that fell out. All right, no biggie. Looks like they went right here. I'll pull it back just a little bit here. All right, we got some wires to take off. I see three. One, two, and All right, that rear bumper is heavy. If you don't have an extra set of hands, this might be a pro tip. Let's see how this works out. Got a couple of helpers here. Let's see if we can make this work. Here goes nothing. Hopefully something, let's see. All right, it's on the wheels. It's got some nice support there. If I can be quick with it, there being a pain, you can sometimes grab a screwdriver, pop that underneath it. There we go. Three. Now, we should be free. Let's get this thing over here. Oh man, it's a lot heavier than I remembered. Woo. All right, let's see here. Let's see how this is gonna go. And in the exhaust system, let's flip her. Let's see if she stays. Come on, be tall enough, be tall enough. That work? Holy cow, that worked. All right, we're off the ground, all four corners. We were just sitting on the tubs. Woo! We did it, rear bumper is off. Check this thing out. All right, there's the three wires that we had to get off. Our lovely extra hands there. Check out the exhaust system. Woo, that looks like we can save some weight when we get the Paragon exhaust. Two massive mufflers on each side. We just need the straight pipes coming straight to the outlets. But let's get back over to the spoiler. All right, we got the bumper flipped over. It looks like the spoiler is held on by 10, 10 millimeter nuts. After you get all those 10 nuts off, I wouldn't be surprised to find double-sided tape underneath the spoiler. Let's see if my suspicions are correct. Uh, yep, we got some double-sided tape on there. Luckily, it's pretty hot in Florida, so I could probably let this, oh yeah, it's coming off real easy. It's like 100 degrees outside today, so this is coming off real easy. Slowly just peeling back. All right, keep on coming. Woo, here we go. There she is. So you got 10 mounting points that are built into the spoiler. Some double-sided tape. 
That's all there is to it. Cool. I'm gonna pull these winglets off. We got four T20s that are holding on each winglet. Looks like each screw has a little washer on there. Once you get all four of those off, again, I think we're gonna have some double-sided tape. Yep, right there. All right, so there we go. We got all three pieces. Got the spoiler, got the winglets. These are the taller ones that GM gives you. But yeah, that will go in the mail today. Hopefully have molds here shortly. Here's the rear bumper. So this is why I wanted to do this is because I don't think a lot of you guys are gonna wanna have to bondo this, fill all these in. So you might want just an upgrade that you can do. Dang, did I lose some paint? Or is that a sticker? No, it's a sticker. Okay, yeah, so this will be able to give you guys an upgrade that you can do without having to worry about all this bondoing and filling this in. You'll be able to upgrade your wing. Get a nice carbon one back there. Got 10 holes in the bumper, jeez. Man, I like the grills that GM installed on here. I wonder why they didn't do it on the front. That would have been nice just to go ahead and put these grills right there. Here's those tips GM made to push the sound back into the cabin. Kind of wider here and then they go narrower. I guess it kind of bounces off that. Well guys, that's the bumper removal on a C8 Corvette Z06. Pretty easy to do. It looks pretty complicated, but it's not. We'll get those pieces in the mail today. Hopefully get some molds done and get some parts here soon. If you guys are interested in getting this set in carbon fiber, let me know. Email me at rearwheeldriveC8 at gmail.com and I'll go ahead and get you on a list. This is gonna look pretty sweet. So we're gonna start with those. Then I'm gonna move to like the boomerangs, the side skirts, front lip, who knows what else. As always guys, I appreciate you watching this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.